And um, he's only going to get better and come 2020. Like you said, I think he's definitely going to be the one to watch out for. Yep, Max Cater lost out to Mohamed Ketby of Belgium, who was fighting under the WTF flag. Here we go, final semi-final. And you can see Falah, he's got that uh, stance, hasn't he? That, you know, he's, he's a cocky character, he knows he's on top of his game. He's, you know, that must be a great feeling. You know, I've, I've seen you win some major events here, yeah. you know, and, you, and you've got a similar style, you know, you, you know when you're on it. Absolutely. No one's going to beat you. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, when, you, when you've got that aura about you of being a champion, being a winner, you know, there's, there's, there's that, there's that, there's that, um, how can we say, there's that imagery that you show even when you're fighting, everybody, even everyone knows that yeah. he's that guy, he's that, he's that best fighter, yeah. he's the one dominating everything right now, and uh, that, yeah, that's, that's, what that's what winning championship does to you, you know. Yeah. I remember seeing you win, uh, you know, I think it was here actually. Um, well, maybe it was in Manchester 20, Yeah, in 2013. Yeah, and in I remember Manchester seeing Central. you. It was the first time we saw you. I was like, whoa, this guy, he is really on it. And, uh, you know, it was uh, it was fantastic. Of course, just after the Olympic Games, and, yeah. and you came on the scene, and, you know, you, you really were looking good. And, and you know, Cabrera, uh, sorry, Falah, he's got that same stance. He's, uh, he's uh, he almost looks as if he knows he's going to win. He's one down at the moment. Yeah, he, he, he's comfortable in any situation. Yeah. You know, he could be behind, but he will always find a way. You know, he will always find a way to get himself back. Yeah. And uh, he's really, you know, he just has that champion material about him, you know. Yeah. Well, Cabrera has, uh, has nibbled a couple of points in there. You can see his style. And maybe that little confidence from Falah. He's, uh, he's maybe going to be a little bit woken up by this because... Uh, Kyungo given there has given another point to Cabrera and uh, suddenly he's not hopping around a little bit for life. he's suddenly got into business mode a little bit now hasn't he yeah absolutely he's, he's uh, behind yeah. points and um, we've seen we've seen we've seen Farzad come from a long from a long from a long way when he's behind points and always finds a solution to get back in the game we've seen yeah. him do at the world championship against Russia um, when he was behind so many points um, before Russia was going to run away with a game, but he found a way to get back and win the game. And that's what champions are all about, you know, always trying to find a way to, yeah. to, 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 to get an outcome on your side. And he certainly does have that. There's a, yeah, that's the score, 3-0 to so the young Spaniard after the first round. He will be thrilled. I think, uh, you offered him that beforehand, he would definitely have taken a 3-0 in the first period against this man. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's, he's enjoying it, you know. He's, he's, he's happy to get to this stage and and, um, and I think he's definitely going to be, gonna be a, a, a player to actually watch out for too because he's come a long way. Um, so, like I said, the people in, that, in his generation, him and Max and, and uh, Josh, you know, they, 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 are, they are the ones that are going to be leading this, this weight category. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, Falah, uh, his international results of late haven't been too bad at all. Won the Grand Prix in Moscow, world champion, won the Dutch Open, won the Fajar Open, Farage Open, Quatero Grand Oh, he's, he's just winning everywhere. There's total domination of this minus 58 category and uh, this is an interesting uh, question being asked now by Cabrera almost oh. went down that will be given because he touched the floor yeah and this is fascinating to see now because the question is being asked of the world number one in blue and Cabrera has something to offer in this bout There you go, 3-1. Yeah. And that'll go into the memory bank for later. He may call on that a little bit. He tried the same move again. Absolutely. Came in with the back kick. Try and get him twice in a row. He'll be wary that he's, uh, and he's fighting a youngster. But there's another one from Cabrera. And Cabrera now looking a little bit more confident. Yeah, as the, as the round goes by. His, he, his confidence rising and he's coming forward and playing the game that he wants to play. I'm not sure why that scored two. 
Is there something I missed earlier? Maybe there was a, a punch and then the kick with two separate moves, but... Well, nothing in it now. And this is exactly what you were saying, Mahama, wasn't it? That somehow these top athletes find a way to win, and, and Falana has had trouble here. They were hoping to score there with the punch. Always a bit of showboating after the punch. You've got to prove to the judges you, you got it. Yeah, absolutely. There we go, 4-4. Four, yeah. four. Um, like I said, Faz Fazad, he's just he, he's he's that player that, that he doesn't mind being behind. He will find a way to get back. We've yeah. seen him many times, um, even today against Serbia. He he come from behind and win the game. Yeah. We've seen other world champions. He come from behind and win the game. He's just he's just that champion aura about him. He, he just he just yeah. can't beat him, you know. And that was a lovely touch at the end there as well, where Cabrera just holds his hand out and says respect. You know, that that was well done. Um, uh, absolutely, absolutely. He he knows that he, he's against a world-class fighter. Uh, yeah. Anyone that comes against Fallout is knows the world-class fighter. But anyone that managed to to get into his head and and even managed to beat him, you know, you done you done a great job. You know. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be really hard, really hard to break down Fallout, really. The uh, credit Jude, where Jude is doing well. He's you know he's even on points going into the third round. Yeah, and he, he couldn't he, he couldn't ask for a better start, really. Yeah, I think we think that was the two-point replay just earlier. Uh, Falah doesn't uh, doesn't think about does he? So two kicks in quick he's not even, succession. He's not even looking at his corner and he's looking at the scoreboard while he's kicking. <laughs> he's that good. He's counting the points as they're scored. <laughs> Oh, and there you go, almost a headshot there, yeah. really close to a headshot. Lovely tactics here. Falar's opening up, he's got a little bit of that uh, confidence back in his stride again. But, you know, Cabrera's a class act here, isn't he? He's, he's, he's not running away. His style, he wants to, he wants to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. There you go, 5-4. There you go, 5-5. Five, five. Cabrera wants a card here. Um, it's going to be cold. Yeah, they will say well, um, probably. Yes, yeah, they say probably for last, for last, for last court. But as a referee in the corner, has put his hand up, so he's probably got something to say. Probably they'll probably say that um, for last kicked off the Calio and scored that cheeky, yeah. cheeky hill kick to the back. Well, first of all, the officials going to have a chat. So I think one of the officials has put his put his hand up and said, "Well, I saw that. I want to discuss this first. So, so if they do, they'll take a point off Fala, which will be six four to to Spain. Well, they've had a discussion. I was just looking at the replay. We can't tell yet. The point is being taken away. Yep. So um, yeah. So the so they scored that cheeky point to the back uh, after the referee told yeah. him to stop. Now well, Falah's got to do something. Two points behind. It's actually the Kingos of the uh, There you go, oh, headshot there. Oh my goodness. There you go. <laughs> well, it was, it was just like helping yourself to the salad bar there in the breakfast time. He <laughs> just made that look so easy. Yeah, he's really good in any type of situation. He finds them gaps and and that's what and that's what he's all about. Yeah. Just so clinical, wasn't he? Just saw the opportunity. Thank you very much. I'll just take that. Yeah. You know. And again. And again. Doesn't score this time. And what? Cabrera. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Cabrera was so convinced that had scored, he was waving for the card. Yeah. And actually, then realised on the scoreboard it hadn't scored. So here we go. Now the officials going to have a little chit chat. The coach is uh, giving some quick instruction to Falah. Now, I'm not sure what this discussion about is that the headshot because I think they will be debating about whether the headshot should have gone on or whether if they did press yeah. uh, for a headshot and then it didn't go on. So, so uh, let's see what the referee. As far as makes I up. understand the rules, no. And okay, so no. are we going to see a card? Because as far as I understand the rules, Mahama, yeah, the officials can't judge on a headshot. 
it's it, it's on of a you know it, because it's all electronic yeah it's debatable really if the if the officials think that it should have been a headshot but didn't go on the board they can de they can actually debate and choose for the headshot to go right. on okay. and then the coaches can probably put the card up and uh, do a video replay to see if that's right or not thank you thank you very much <laughs> uh, eight seven this is tight 30 seconds to go Cabrera can't believe he's giving the world number one a really tough tussle and Mamayev who's sitting back in his nice comfy uh, sofa behind the scenes will be watching this on a big screen or a plasma somewhere and loving the fact that these two have actually given there each other a tough punch. one was that going to score? Oh, it has done. Go. the punch has scored and he was looking for that he was looking for that punch and, and uh, he eventually got it Oh my goodness, what about this is? So three seconds towards the end. Oh, are they going to go for it? No, <laughs> and it goes to sudden death. Palas happy for sudden death. And that's where, that's great for such a youngster to actually try the punch at that, that stage in the match. You know, hats off to him because he knew he was going to leave himself open a little yeah. bit. He yeah. had to come in quick. Absolutely. He's, he's, he's having a wonderful, he's having a wonderful time at the moment. He's, you know, he's making it hard for, he's making it hard for Fazal to, 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 to score against him. And, and uh, you know, and he's taking a world number one to distance really. So, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so as we say, sudden death is, it's really, so here we go. And interestingly, there's a, uh, but the was a Kyungo against him, but of course those are cleared now for the sudden death. Yep. So uh, we start level. There's everybody calling for the point. <laughs> we saw Falar's body language there. That's quite comical because the Cabrera was looking for the point. Yeah. And then uh, Falar was going, what are you asking for the card for? I didn't score. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little conversation going on in some sort of sign language. They probably don't speak each other's language. <laughs> and here we go. Guards are in. And let's go. Single point. Oh, yes, Cabrera gets the point against him. What an incredible result for the young Spaniard. Wow. This is an amazing moment. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He has just put out the world number one from Iran, who is absolutely shocked. Unbelievable. And this is a really major moment. The bronze medalist at the Youth Olympic Games 